Hey guys, wanted to give a quick review of a borrowing adjustable weight bench. Uh, I'm looking for a solid FID bench. Uh, I'm not a super lifter or anything. Uh, just say, you know, 90 pound dumbbells. That's about as good as it gets for me. Uh, I need a bench that's strong enough uh, for, you know, 60, 70, 80, 90s, but also something to feel comfortable in uh, as I'm lifting weights that is stable uh, for those kind of weights. And then uh, something that will do uh, flat incline, decline, and on the incline, prefer it to do something I can do shoulder presses with. So, you know, 85 or 90, that was another thing that I couldn't quite figure out with some of these uh, benches. So, uh, and then also some amount of decline. So, <clears throat> I'm a bit of a minimalist. Uh, I prefer solid benches that fold up out of the way as my gym sort of doubles as my office space. <clears throat> so my criteria, I think it was 20 or so on Amazon. And I really like this one, I, 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 I think. I think this one might work for me. I'm gonna walk through it, but I didn't see any reviews on the bench, and it's certainly not a detailed review. So let's get going with, uh, I'll show you what I like, what I dislike, and we'll sort of walk through the different angles of it real quick. So uh, keep in mind, I'm about 5'10", 187, so you should get a bench that fits your leg length. People don't talk about that much, but if a bench is too tall or too short, uh, based on how tall you are, uh, you want one that's comfortable, so. Okay, so now we are going to unbox it so it comes in a you know comes from amazon with cellophane around it there's really only three things that come with it you get the main bench which is folded up already in pin and then you get in my left hand a couple of foot pads uh, for the foot rest that really just slide on and then in the right hand you get two uh, sort of pull-up handles uh, that go on the back of the bench and that's pretty much the way it comes. So if you uh, take a look at that area right there, you're going to pull a pin. It's got a little bar that holds all that together. And once you pull that pin uh, out, uh, don't forget to put it back in when you fold it flat, but you're going to just basically fold that uh, plate down and then you're going to open this bench up uh, in its full state. Uh, and then what you should do here is put the pin back in, which I forgot to do that. Uh, you'll see me do it here in a minute. But you can see basically from uh, what we're doing right here that it is in its most open position. And now basically you've got the foot rest, uh, which has got really nice. It's got multiple adjustments actually on that foot rest. Uh, really really nice uh, to have that feature it's actually got i think four different positions that you can put that foot rest in and it's got a pin that that goes uh, basically in there to uh, to do that i'm going to go ahead and put the uh, uh, foot pads on there they just basically push on nothing high tech here but really comfortable by the way they're comfortable foot pads so I don't know about the durability of them, but that pin uh, in that area has got, says it has on their website four different adjustments. Uh, so you can pin it in four different locations, as you can see, uh, which I think is really nice personally, because uh, I think it's just really beneficial to have some adjustment for your feet. I know some of the benches that are less expensive do not have that feature. So again, it's really nice. Um, so now I'm rotating the, the, the seat portion the seat portion itself has uh, five positions. So now it's in a flat bench position and I'll go all the way down on the seat. So the, all the way down is position one, there's position two, there's position three. So let's go back up one and then two, there's two, there's three for inclined. Uh, there's four if you want more of an incline and then you got five. So this is plenty for, uh, for what it is that you, uh, you would need, for, for instance, for incline. It is comfortable. The pads are nice and soft. Appreciate that. It doesn't feel cheap. Uh, and then if you go to the head portion, this head portion has actually got 10 different positions, uh, if you can believe that. Obviously, the lowest one would be one, and then it looks like that's two. Uh, so we'll go down to two, three, four, five, six, yeah, look at that, and there it goes, up it goes, 
Now, this bench will not go a full, I think there's number nine, and then we'll go to number 10, bam. So it goes to about 80 degrees, I think is what it says on the website. So um, I am verifying it looks a little bit more than 80, but you know, close to 80, maybe, maybe a little over 80. Uh, but um, it's enough for me to feel comfortable doing sort of like shoulder presses. It's one of the things that I wanted was to be able to do some shoulder presses and have it, you know, as close to 90 as I could. So um, I'm not gonna call that a, a, a bad thing that it doesn't go straight up to 90. Uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's certainly, certainly fine for, uh, for, what it, for the price. Uh, so uh, those push pins are nice for adjustment, you know. Uh, it is nice, they're captive, so they're not gonna fall off. You know, I gotta go look up for them or anything like that. Uh, and then looks like here, what I'm gonna do is adjust the uh, foot peg so I could actually lay back flat on it and do some sit-ups uh, or something like that. <clears throat> and again, the nice part about those foot pads are that you can adjust uh, based on you know where you're comfortable, right? So flat bench is, is nice, it's a nice, it's a nice flat bench. Um, and uh, the, the nice thing about those foot pads I mentioned is uh, the foot rest is that it will fold out of the way. So now we're going to go uh, for another adjustment setting uh, and we're gonna say, hey, what does decline look like, right? Something else I had a hard time finding. So there is the declined uh, position for this bench. And the thing that's interesting about it is the seat and the backrest actually are not parallel to each other. There's a sort of a two inch height increase between the base of the seat and the, the, uh, the pad for the, uh, you know, headrest portion, which is, which is kind of weird. Um, it didn't bother me at all, actually, though the adjustment wasn't a problem. My back, I guess, normally kind of curves that way, but you can see your butt kind of sits on the seat and then there's a jump up to the, uh, to the shoulder portion. Uh, I'm not that skinny, so it didn't bother me. Um, but it is a really soft pad, so I'm not sure I would, I would worry about that. I haven't seen any other complaints <clears throat> with that. Uh, but in the flat position, they are both indeed, you know, parallel to each other. So, <clears throat> so there's just a demonstration. My feet are on the ground. Now, one thing I did not like about this really was my feet uh, stability wise. When you're doing 80, 90 pound dumbbells, you want to not have to be on your toes. And that's one thing I have to say that I did not like about this is that I am only 5'10", and this bench uh, is a 19 inch high bench. So at 5'10", my feet were on the ground, even with shoes on, but you know, it wasn't as stable as I like. I prefer benches that are, you know, 17, for instance. Um, uh, here's a uh, wheels. You even get wheels on this bench, which is really nice. I mean, wow! Like for 100, you know, 30 bucks, 120 bucks, you get wheels uh, that are already in there, assembled, and everything. Uh, and it gives you the ability to kind of roll it out of the way when you want to do something else, uh, or just kind of get it out of the way. <clears throat> so the wheels were really nice. I thought that was a nice add, a nice feature. Here I'm adding the sort of. Uh, the handles, they even include two handles for you to do uh, reach back on the bench and I'll show you a demo of that and put <clears throat> your, uh, do some leg setups. Uh, so flat on your back, raising your legs up, gives you some handles to hold on to, which is another nice thing. You really don't get these on a lot of other benches, uh, but it's just one screw. So that, that, that basically that post kind of pushes in a hole and there's just a, a single threaded screw with a washer and that washer is actually uh, rounded to match the tube that it goes in which is another nice uh, feature so you just take that screw push it in on both sides screw it in obviously it comes with a with a with a, an allen wrench i think that you can tighten those up you know better but um yeah they work uh they work great uh for what they are and heck they come with a bench and um you know uh, they're very solid and stable. So uh, another another win here for uh, for the money. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so let's see what else we got here. 
think what we're going to do is put the pin back in it, uh, which is something I should have done earlier. But when you do fold it out, the pin goes right back in the same hole, and that basically just locks it from folding back up. Um, you don't have to do that, but it's just a safety precaution. Um, so, yeah, so there it is in its flat position. You can see um, the handles. Now I can actually do some sit-ups, right? And so it's just another nice feature about this bench for the money. You don't get these things with other benches. Now I'm gonna do some bouncing. So again, 187, I weigh 187 pounds. You can see me going up and down on the bench, doing step ups, step downs. Uh, it's a solid bench. There's some push-ups, and it's not really moving. It's, uh, it's a pretty solid bench. So kudos to, to Batwing for, for that. Um, again, the only thing that I was frustrated about was the height of the bench at 19 inches. It's a little tall for me. So I'll probably consider uh, looking at a shorter bench. But this is uh, the nicest bench that I've seen and reviewed so far. Um, so let's see, I think what we're gonna do here is just give you a demonstration of uh, folding it back up. So if I was done with a workout, hey, I'm gonna fold this back up, that foot rest can go in a couple of different locations and positions, but you're gonna pull that pin in the middle, fold this thing onto itself, grab that handle, which is another nice feature, uh, frankly, to get the, uh, the handle. Uh, you gotta put, let's see, I think I'm gonna put that pin back in. Yeah, there's a plate and a pin there. You put that pin back in, that locks that fold together. There's your handle. And um, yeah, you've got yourself a 35, I think it's about 35 pounds is what they said that bench was. Uh, and you can fold the footrest so it goes closer against the wall. I'm probably gonna wind up, if I kept a bench, uh, I'm gonna mount it on the wall at some point. But it does fold up nicely. Now I'm gonna go through just real quickly, one more time, here's how fast you can Here's how fast you can, you know, fold it out, work out, and put it back up. Step one, pull the pin, rotate it all the way out, take, put the pin back in the middle, snaps right in, it's, and then you're gonna say, well, what do I wanna do? I wanna work on my foot rest, I'll get that in the position I want it. I will put, once I have that wherever I would like to be comfortable, I'm gonna take the, the base, put that, for instance, flat bench, if that's what you wanna do. You adjust that real quick, and you adjust that, and there you go. You've got yourself a one minute unfolded under the bed bench press that you can actually do, and it's solid, and the pads are comfortable. So uh, that's not as solid as a $1,000 bench, obviously, so don't, don't think it is. But um, here I am gonna disassemble it again real quick. So same thing in reverse, pull the pin, fold it together, put the pin back in, grab the grab handle, put it away. It's another, I don't know, 30 seconds or something like that. It's quick, it's really, really quick. So that's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that it helps. Talk to you later.